How do you decide how to break up a fight between two parents? Hey guys, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parentless Bond. Oh, oh, that was a kiss. That's good. Um, I have over 20 species of parrots. If you want to increase the bliss with your parrot, increase that bond, you're in the right place. Um, you can get my book on Amazon. If you're used to hanging out, thank you. Oh, yes, they're becoming friends. That's really awesome. Of course, the video content is sort of the opposite, but let's get squeaking about it. Sorry, white crown pionis ale. And I'm going to tell you that when two birds get in a fight, there's no time to think. So the best thing to have done is to have already thought about how you're going to handle a potential problem. Um, one of the things you want to consider is beak size. You want to decide whether or not you want that beak to come at you because if you put your hand in between, you are going to either give pets or you're the one that's going to get bitten. Um, you can always have a stick close by. There's my stick. And when you have a stick close by, you're just usually going to be able to, your stick will be bigger than my chopstick, put it right in between them and it starts to break them up. Does it always work? No. If you have a towel, a kitchen towel, something like that, that's good too. Basically, for me, I kind of decide um, which beaks I can, I can uh, sacrifice my hands to. And I also make my decision based on the bird itself. In other words, most other birds don't mess with Macy on the left because of that beak. Ale, on the other hand, he is um, kind of a sweet little guy. He's not very aggressive. And Macy, that wasn't nice. So when I feel like Ale is being threatened, I generally will step in. Ale doesn't really come and bite other birds. So I feel like I have to defend him and I'm willing to pay a little more to defend him. In other words, I'm willing to put my hand in the middle of things a little more and I try to be cautious with Ale. I really like that feather sticking out, that's funny. So you kind of have to assess like which birds need protection and, hey, Macy, no. And um, which birds um, you're willing to put your hand in front of. Now, if you are new with your parrots, your parrots don't know you very well. Once your parrots know you well, did you notice that I yelled at Macy, um, which is not inappropriate in the wild, they at each other and they'll they'll like kind of attack each other's feet and when it's not serious nothing happens and when it's a serious fight uh, they could lose a toe there could be blood things like that now since Macy is bonded to me when I a hey, when I reprimand her she kind of listens notice how she kind of she doesn't pursue it now the Cape parrots frankly are not very aggressive one of the things going on here is Macy sees me as her mate. Uh, no, Macy! No. No. Come on, step up. Step up. No. Step up. Macy. Macy sees me as her mate, and she sees Ale as a threat. So I think this is her being mean. At this point, I'm going to put her in a cage. I don't like that behavior, so I'm in a sec... Um, uh, let me go put the camera down and I'm going to be right back. All right, so I put Macy back. Normally I wouldn't necessarily. Now, um, but I felt like she was pushing it a little. The third thing to consider is um, whether two birds are really fighting or whether they are establishing a pecking order. You saw initially Ale and Macy actually kissed or connected with beaks, which is the beginning of bonding. Then there was some, you know, a little more than I liked, a little um, 
jolting at Ale. So that's when I switched Macy out. But overall, they weren't fighting like to hurt each other. It wasn't a serious fight. There's some unhappiness and it could turn serious. And when it started to get a little graver than I wanted, I did move Macy. Generally though, if they are just establishing a pecking order and they're not really fighting, they're not hurting each other, I let them because that's a natural behavior. There needs to be a pecking order. Um, that happens in birds, it happens in humans, it happens in like dog packs. It's very natural. What I don't allow, and when I step in, and I'm like the top of the pecking order, when I feel like it's out of control. And that's the way it would be in nature too. The, the top of any pack is gonna let, for example, the wolves fight unless the top of the pack decides it's, it's inappropriate for whatever reason. And that's just the way it goes. So um, I decided that Macy was being a little too much for my taste and so I put an end to it. Again, generally, you know, like they weren't really hurting each other. If you caught my video, and I'll try to remember to put a link to it below, um, where I took Ale to the vet, Landshark, my hawk head, had attacked him, and that was really serious. Landshark is just not allowed anywhere near Ale. Just not allowed, she's out to kill him. Not, just, you know, so they're not even, they're just not allowed to be, like if they're both in the same room and they're both in a cage, that's fine, otherwise, um, you know, uh-uh. <laughs> I just won't take any chances because Land Shark's too aggressive. She's jealous of Ale too. So you kind of have to decide sort of like the seriousness of what the bird is trying to do. Are you, and for example, this bird is trying to kill my towel. I wonder how much it'll kill my towel. Um, you have to decide whether they're gonna really hurt your hand or not. You have to decide who you need to defend the most. When you have these things already in mind and then there's a fight, you won't have much thinking because you just don't have time. You have to act really fast. They move so fast, they hurt each other so fast. So develop your plan, sort of figure out what are the most important things. Um, I would have sticks close by. The, um, the question that was submitted was something about a water bottle. I suppose you could spray them, but I, you know, I don't know. I didn't, I can't really speak to that. I haven't done that. I always have a stick close by and generally I'm willing to jump in. And by the time I scream and kind of lunge, that tends to shift things, which is a part of what I'm after, um, like I did with Macy. And, and that's when I feel like there's a serious fight, that's the most important part. I hope that that helps you maintain blissful relationships in your home. If you have any questions or comments, please do so below. If your parrot is stressed out for any reason, make sure to get a bottle of Tink's must-have parrot relief on parrotbliss.com. There is the back of Ale. Look at his beautiful colors. He's got just like, it seems like every color. Woo! Um, and I will catch you in the next feathered video.